food is a critical building block of life. By 2050, more than 9 billion people will need 70% more food than today. So we need to preserve our foods other than producing more. The quest for new technologies in the preservation has drawn the attention of researchers to focus on energy saving and efficient techniques. Among those, ohmic heating is an efficient technique to preserve foods because it heats both phases of foods, that means liquid and solid phases, simultaneously by internal energy generated from electrical power. So, today we are going to talk about the ohmic heating in food preservation and its applications. Hello everyone, you are welcome back to our YouTube channel with School and Health Science. If you are new to here and want to learn about the food processing technology, please hit the subscribe followed by the bell. Arm heating is not a new technology. It was developed in the early years of the 20th century for the pasteurization of milk. However, the electropia process was later discontinued because of the lack of suitable electrode material. Ohmic heating is an electroheating technique based on the passage of electrical current through a food product having electrical resistance. It is also referred as electrical resistance heating, direct electrical resistance heating, dual heating, electroheating and electroconductive heating. Ohmic heating is distinguished from other electrical heating methods by the presence of electrode in contact with the food, waveform and frequency. This technology is based on the electrical resistance of food. Heating occurs when an alternating electrical current passes through a food, which results in the internal generation of heat. It is particularly suitable for the processing of viscous, liquid foods and food containing particles. Differences in the electrical conductivities of various ingredients of multi-component food system can be overcome by selective pretreatment during the formulation phase. There are factors that affect the conductivity of food such as temperature, voltage gradient and food composition. Electrical conductivity increases in the presence of ionic substances like acids and salts and decreases with nonpolar components such as fats. The process control parameters of ohmic heating include temperature, frequency, voltage gradient, difference of electrical conductivity, food properties, electrode type and flow properties. On the other hand, among all heating methods, Thermal properties of food compounds have less effect on ohmic heating. In addition, ohmic heating was reported as a faster heating method that, than microwave and infrared heating methods due to internal heat generation. Let's see what are the advantages of ohmic heating. It heats food products simultaneously. The target temperature is achieved very quickly. It has high energy conversion efficiency at a low maintenance cost. It has the possibility for instant shutdown of the system and no residual heat transfer after current shutdown. Also, it has continuous processing without heat transfer surfaces and no problems with substrate or heating. It has low heat losses and it is an environmental friendly technology. It gives better impact on sensory properties of food also. Finally, it has reduced maintenance cost because of lack, lack of moving parts. Also, there are some disadvantages of ohmic heating. They are narrow frequency band, coupling between temperature and Electrical file distribution is very complicated. Lack of generalized information, 
request adjustment based on the conductivity of the foot material and difficult to monitor and control. Now let's see what are the applications of ohmic heating in food industry. Typically, any product that can be pumped and which has suitable electrical conductivity can be successfully processed using ohmic heating. Most pumpable foodstuff will have a significant moisture content and therefore a suitable electrical conductivity to be processed by ohmic heating. In the 19th century, ohmic heating was applied to pressurized mills. It is also used for preheating, blanching, thawing and extraction of foods. In addition to that, it is mainly used for ultra-high temperature sterilization and pasteurization of liquid foods. Also, ohmic heating can be used for commercial pasteurization of liquid egg products through juices, readily prepared meals. Also, sweet whey processing, rice cooking, and processing of whole fruits, vegetables, seafood, soups, creams, and pasta dishes like products. Many researchers investigated ohmic heat in extraction of different food compounds uh, such as essential oils, polyphenols, rice bran oil, pigments from beetroot, and cyanine from black rice bran. Also, uh, it can be used to reduce the lipid oxidation of rice bran oil and also to texture softening of vegetables. According to the research findings, potential future uses of army heating are in dehydration, aberration, blanching, and extraction. So, these are the basic things about army heating in fruit processing. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for videos just like this. Hope to catch you next time and thanks for watching.